Hey everyone, today I'm diving deep into the world of vacuum circuit breakers, or VCBs. These are not your everyday circuit breakers. They're a critical component in protecting electrical systems using nothing but a vacuum. Intrigued? Let's get into it. So, what exactly is a vacuum circuit breaker? Well, unlike other types of breakers that might use gases or oils to quench an electrical arc, VCBs use a high vacuum. This vacuum is an excellent dielectric medium, which means it's really effective at extinguishing arcs that occur when switching current paths in electrical systems. Now, why vacuum, you might ask? The vacuum has superior dielectric strength. That's just a technical way of saying it can handle high voltages without breaking down. And in the world of electrical engineering, that's a huge plus. Let's talk about the principle of operation. When the contacts inside a VCB separate, an arc forms. This happens due to ionization between the gap, but here's where the magic happens. In a VCB, this arc is quickly extinguished thanks to the high vacuum environment, which rapidly recovers its dielectric strength once the arc goes out. On to construction. A VCB typically consists of three main parts, a fixed contact, a moving contact, and an arc shield within the vacuum chamber. These components are crucial for the breaker's operation, ensuring everything functions smoothly and safely. The moving contact is connected to a control mechanism by something called stainless steel bellows. These bellows keep the vacuum chamber perfectly sealed, preventing any leaks which could impair the breaker's functionality. During normal conditions, the contacts inside a VCB remain closed, but when a fault occurs, like an overload or a short circuit, the breaker activates. The moving contact separates from the fixed contact, creating an arc. The material of the contacts and the intensity of the current influence how the arc behaves and ultimately how it's extinguished. As the current decreases, so does the vapor release, allowing the vacuum to regain its dielectric strength. In cases of very small currents, the arc can even split into several paths, effectively dispersing the energy and minimizing damage. Now why are VCBs so significant? Firstly, they're incredibly reliable and offer a longer service life compared to other breaker types. They're compact, pose no fire hazard, and are environmentally friendly. No gases are produced post-operation. Additionally, they're silent and cause minimal vibrations during operation. On the flip side, they can be cost prohibitive for applications above 36 kV and require sophisticated technology to maintain the vacuum. In conclusion, vacuum circuit breakers play a pivotal role in modern electrical engineering. They ensure safety, efficiency, and are an eco-friendlier option in power distribution networks, particularly in the medium voltage range from 11 kV to 33 kV. That's it for today's deep dive into vacuum circuit breakers. Whether you're an electrical engineer or just a tech enthusiast, understanding the role and functionality of VCBs adds a valuable piece to your knowledge puzzle. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.